back to my channel. So we, I have a Senegalese tutorial. I have the water uh, mixed with <clears throat> Alpha G leave-in conditioner from the yellow bottle. And this is the jam that I'm going to be using today. And I have a comb for parting. I'm probably going to use this, the rat tail tip. And then I have my little hair pieces that I'm going to use. Now, I will say that I have sprayed my hair pieces and cleaned them off. If anybody was wondering, I, you know, people, yeah. Not going to get into that today. <laughs> so, I am making my part right here. And I, if there's a glare, I'm so sorry. My glasses, yeah, they have, they don't have, like, the glare. But they're going to make a little glare. But because I don't have contacts today, I'm going to need to wear my glasses. Okay, so I have made the desired part that I want. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the jam. It's basically, it's like all in this top right here. It's blue. And this is the top for it. Which you can get at your local beauty supply store. You can get it from Walgreens. You can get it from Walmart. This jam, it sells about three, four dollars. Maybe um, sometimes I get the big ones like five to seven dollars because I use it a lot. I use it on my clients, myself. You know, when I do braids, this is my go-to product because first of all, it moisturizes your hair, and with your hair being in braids, you know, tension, tension, tension. This is a good moisturizer, you know. I know a lot of people like around the edges. Well, why you don't use edge control? It's like, well, you know, I don't use the edge control while I am putting the hair in, but I'll go back and put it on the edges only. Cause I've I've seen times where <clears throat> you use if you use edge control on other places in the edges, it can break your hair off really bad. bad. And I've seen that. And if you like me, you'll cry. You'll cry with that breakage. Yes, you will. So, I'm splitting my hair into two parts. One part, two part. I know my hair looks kind of thin, but it's there. <laughs> it's just I'm working on my very edge, edges, edges. So, this first piece. Now, as you can see, I do have my index finger holding down the other part. So, that while I'm twisting this part, it won't unravel I want to keep it as tight as I can on my roots so that I can twist it as close as I can to my roots see how close that is let me get up there see and so I'm gonna do the other side I'm gonna go the same way on the other side because I want to you know want to get it close as I can now it's time to twist them together. You see the twisting techniques for it's it's just you know it's a it's I'm gonna say this it is a technique that you will have to practice. This is not no catch it on you know you kind of already have to be kind of dealing with twist a little bit because like I said this is not just any ordinary technique. Now I will say this now when you get buckles like this it means the hair wasn't twisted. So I'm gonna go back. It means it I twisted it, but in the process of starting the two tran, two two strand twist and two, roping them around together, I had to let my grip go. And if you let your grip go, what happens is that hair becomes straight. And so when you twist it, it looks it looks different. You can see it. It it looks like a buckle, but it's not. It's just that the hair is straight. The hair is not twisted. So, I am twisting. Yes, I'm squinching because I'm on my edges and it, it kind of hurts. Because I, I like to get mine tight. I know, like, in your temple area, you don't want to be too tight, so tight that you pull your hair out when you take the braids down. Like, I, I like to take my braids down and it still be hair there, you know? Especially on your edges because it's just, your, your edges and where your temple is, it's just so tender right there it really is it's really tender as you can see it's coming along Let's see if I can zoom in there yeah so as you can see my twisting 
techniques for each each twist each side I'm twisting this side I'm twisting that side and then I'm twisting them together so it's everything is being twisted each individual strand is being twisted as well as I'm twisting them together so and that's how you get the twist to stay without knotting them which is it's a very good technique if it's done properly the twist will stay and you won't have to braid it down now what i do like i said i do put a knot at the end for extra security i mean that's there's nothing wrong with wanting that extra secure security on your braids you know on your twist there's nothing wrong with it because you might need that you know you don't want to be somewhere and that thing just you know unravel anywhere so yeah, there's nothing wrong with extra security. So I'm twisting, 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 and twisting some more. Get this down here. And I, I am planning to probably keep these braids up till the end of this month. I want to do, I, I initially wanted to do like two or three months, but because I'm going to show you why I know I'm not. Because my hair is growing out so fast. The new growth is growing out so, so fast. That's why. Okay, so. We're going to knot it again. One wrap. Two wraps. Index finger, thumb, and hair in between. Pull it through. Pull it down. And you have a knot. See it? Right there. Have a knot. Yes, indeedy. Mm-hmm. So, I still have a little hair to go. And I mean, it doesn't take long. When you get this technique down, you're going to be rolling. You, you're going to be, I mean, you're going to be rolling. You are. You're going to be rolling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tighten these edges up a little bit. Maybe you need to do something on this side. But these are the ones I'm going to show you on camera. And you see, you see what I was talking about? New growth, new growth, new growth is a beast. It is a beast. It is. It is. I'm trying not to make them too small, but it seems like, I don't know, I'm missing one. It seems like when I redid it the last time, they were... The parts was like really big and I didn't like it. So I'm trying to make it a point to not have such big such big parts. Cause it, it, it made big gaps. And I and I didn't want those gaps. Those were gaps bigger than what I wanted. So yeah. Oh, and to let you know I am looking in the mirror. So if you think where is she looking? Oh, I'm looking over there at that mirror just to let you know. So I'm going to spray a little water. It just feels a little dry. So I'm just going to saturate it with a little water. And put this over here. Because I don't want to grab. I'm, and I tell you, I'm bad for grabbing hair. <laughs> Out of other pieces that don't belong. So we're going to try to just wrap this around this strand. So I won't grab it. So we can keep a straight part. So... I'm going to use another piece of hair, which is this one. It's already been unraveled. I've already spread. I can spray it again if I want, you know. It won't hurt anything. And as I said before, I'm going to put my jam on the hair. Rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. comb kind of comb it through put some on the edge now this is my thing when it comes to okay blending your hair in and you know try not to let it be noticeable where your hair ends you need to have those ends wet with water something because if you do it dry that oh they definitely gonna stick i mean yeah they're gonna stick out but if you do it dry they definitely gonna stick out you definitely not gonna be able to hide that so I got some jam left on my fingers. I'm just gonna rub it on my hair pieces. Cause that my hair that hair piece seemed kinda dry. And dry, dry hair, I'm telling you, I've done hair before where it was so dry. It was so dry. 
he cut my fingers. And y'all think paper cuts bad? Try having a cut with a haircut. Cut by hair on your fingers. Think a paper cut bad. That's a bad cut. So as you can see, I'm sitting it in the middle. And my index finger is there to hold one side. And so I'm going to twist this one. And I'm twisting it up and back because I want to grab as much as I can. And I'm taking my index finger and I'm going to hold that side. And then we're going to twist this side. Now you don't want to twist it so much that it buckles. That's what we don't want. We don't want to twist it so much that it buckles. That's what we don't want. So... You see it? It's coming together. And because my hair is already drying out this light, it's kind of making it warm over here. And so it's kind of drying my hair out earlier than what I wanted to. So I just sprayed a little water on it because we want our hair to blend in with this braid hair as much as possible. Oh, you see those pretty nice it's coming out. They're pretty nice. It's a pretty pattern. I like it. Yes, I do. I like it. I do. I don't know why I get in these videos. If I had these glasses on, I'd be like, Pfft. I know I should put my contacts on. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving this light. I'm loving my little corner, even though I got the blinds. My blinds in the background. Love my little corner in my little neighborhood. It's quiet over here Friday, you know. You know, normally it would be like music going, you know. But I guess everybody's chilling this weekend. Oh, it's the rodeo. That's what it is. It's the rodeo. So everybody's probably out at the rodeo. Me, I slept. I don't know what it was. I could not wake up today. <laughs> I could not wake up. I've been like sleep. I guess I'm getting much needed rest or some rest I may need. Maybe much needed rest. But I cannot sleep at all. At all. I cannot sleep a week. I cannot. I brought don't look too bad. I really didn't do, any, do too much to them today. Like I said, I've been kind of asleep. See, I kind of made myself look presentable. You know, for you guys. You know, I love you guys. You know. <laughs> kind of felt like I had been out all night at the club, had been drunk, but I have not. So, we twist it all the way down to where we want to go, and I'm going to make a little separation in the hair um, for the piece that I want to use to make the knot. I normally don't like to, like, use the piece, like, use, you know, the strand. I normally like to go in and make another one. So... I have the strand I'm going to use, so like I said, we're going to wrap it once, come back around, we're going to stick that index finger and that thumb in there, take that thumb, we're going to pull that all the way through, and we got a knot somewhere. Look, you may not be able to see it, yes you can, right there, that's the knot, see, and that's what we accomplished today. Yes, yes, honey. Yes, honey. Okay. So we're going to work on this last one over here that I had wrapped around this one so that it wouldn't get loose. And the same as the other one, I'm going to spray a little hair. I mean, hair. <laughs> spray a little water and leave in conditioner on it. It's a little dry. And I'm going to put some jam at the roots, jam at the roots, jam at the end, comb it through. Once again, I'm going to part make two sections right here. These are my two sections. Already, this is the piece that I'm going to use to twist my hair. So, I 
go ahead and take my two sections and I put it in the middle. I'm going to twist this side first. Like I said, we want to make sure we get it as tight. You know, we want to get it close to the root, you know, to the roots as possible to the root. I keep saying root. Well, you know, I'm a country girl, so. Yes, I'm a little country Louisiana girl. Yes, a little southern belle. Yes. Yes, 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 yes I am. So, now we are ready to start the double strand technique. And as you can see, we are double stranding it. Oh, see how I'm pulling hair from all across the world? That's what I don't want. <laughs> it's to pull hair from all across the world, but sometimes it happens. Looking good, looking good. So like I said, each individual each individual strand is being twisted. And twisting it together. See how good that looks? How good my hair is blending in with the braid hair. That's exactly what we want. That is exactly what I want. Yes, indeed. That's what I want. So, I don't know if you checked out my previous videos, but you should look at my previous video from when I think they were only, they were maybe only two weeks old. One or two weeks old at the time. And they look very, very brand new. Like I told you guys, when I get braids, I don't like to tie my hair up. I don't like to do any of that. <laughs> That's why I have silk pillowcases and silk sheets. <laughs> because I know when I like do braids and stuff, I don't like to tie my hair down. That's just me. I just like to be happy, go lucky, free with my time, Jesus, with my hair. I mean, I I'm not gonna say I don't tie. I'm not gonna say I don't tie my hair up. I do tie my hair up. I will tie my hair up. Uh, but it's only a matter of time <laughs> until your girl be like, you know what? I'm tired of tying this hair up. And we gonna let it be free. So as you can see, it's kind of already pre-shifted into two pieces just because that piece got shorter. So we kind of shifted it in two, brought it together with a longer piece, which you could tell where the transition was made. If you if you look, you see where the pattern kind of gets off a little bit. You can tell. I don't know if he's able to, I'm, I will show it again though. Once I'm done twisting, it'll be easier for me to show where that pattern got off for the transition for snake long. Okay, so we're back to doing another knot. I'm just going to use this piece, that short piece, stick out. So that's that one. On the second go around, index thumb, put it in between thumb, pull it through, and you have a knot. Bam, that's a knot there. And. Like I said, this is the area that you can tell where you see where the pattern got off, where I shifted to make it longer. But it still looks good. There's still a knot there. You see it? And the right itself still looks good. Look at that. Look at that one. Look at that. Look at there. So good. But let me take it out now so I can show you guys, like, <laughs> the new growth is real. It's growing. For real, for real. And I'm just greasing my hair. See, look, this is, like, supposed to be a middle part. Look at that new growth in there. That new growth is some serious. And it's only been, like, four weeks. Three to four weeks. So it's something serious. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I will do another review. Like and subscribe. Bye. Thank you.